Andrew's just topping up the hydraulic tank on the 724. And he's saying that the toolbox on this weight block isn't big enough to fit everything in, including the seat sock. And he really needs a front block toolboxy thingy, Bob. I think it's just an excuse after he saw Adam yesterday, if I'm honest. Not well, three. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's bent the shelves, Ian? <laughs> Be all right, adds to the character. <laughs> Been opening the boxes, though, opening so all the boxes. The yard's drying up quite nicely. There's a belt of rain coming over now, according to the satellite picture, but it's not actually falling on us. So, if it fingers crossed, if um, it stays dry in the next 30 minutes, we'll be able to go and drill some beans. So, we're just going to go and put the drill on now, get it all ready, and then check the field if the rain misses us. This is, I think, the extent of the rain we've had. It's, it's actually not even wet the yard. You can see it on the back of the buggy, but it's not wet the yard. So hopefully we're good to go when we get the drill on. There's Paul in the Union Bank Farm truck. Going to pick some barley up. Still raining, but not much because the yard's still dry underneath the, underneath the dust. So we've not had a lot. Got blue skies again, Andrew's just filling up now and hopefully we can go and drill some beans. Andrew's just metering a bit of seed out now, we're just weighing it. And he's gonna type it in the cab. Computer's gonna work out the seed rate, so basically how fast to spin the rollers to meter the seed out so that it puts the right amount on the field. So if you look in here, you can see the different rollers. So he's got one similar to that one at the moment. Calibrating the second hopper now. Play that one. Let's grab that off. Hang that on there. Six three eight, but it's five three eight in it because it weighs each one of these weighs a kilo. And then you'll type that in now and then both hoppers are metered then so we can put four ton of seed in which will probably drill we're just drilling just over 200 kilos to the hectare so that's uh 20 hectares worth 50 acres in one hopper full which isn't too bad put the valve out with tire you're gonna lay it down give us a bit bigger footprint get us a bit more traction and it'll tread a bit lighter on the ground and the front's not too bad dry drilling beans. These are VF tyres, so we're trying to get the footprint stretched longer that way. Setting the depth now. Coming in a bit. Got a too big a gap around the outside. Let's see what this is doing. Checking the seed in depth, I think. That's all right, I think. Nice job. Well, you can see, but the river on the side's starting to disappear. It's actually starting to rain now. We've got it. It's a bit annoying. Looks good though, right in the middle of the rows from last year. We need to let the tyres down a little bit on the floor. This is Bill's spring barley drilled into that cover crop where he went through with his grange first. Looks pretty, pretty amazing to be honest. Got the winter barley next to it as well of ours, which looks great. And then Andrew's just over there now drilling spring beans. This wasn't on the satellite picture. No. This is the field with the landing lights in where we put that drain in anyway, there's no water in it. And this is where we patched up a bit later. Anyway, that's coming up now. A little bit of weed though, a bit of weed there. But the weed's coming up through. Which is nice. It's a bit of a wet patch here, but it's obviously getting to the drain now and getting away.
Rob's just got back, he's just had to pull Andrew out, we had to give up. He got stuck basically drilling. It was quite wet the other side of the field. Oh, missed him. Joe had a big load of logs on the trailer then. Not the trailer, the buggy. Too slow. Oh, he's still got one stuck in. Let's see what he notices. Has he noticed? Yeah. <laughs> Digging about. Was going to move the digger, but we're going to use it now for doing a bit more on the driveway to make way for the concrete wagon, hopefully tomorrow. Andrew got stuck obviously before, got towed out. He's now swapping fields. So he's going to a drier field now. And he's got there and he's doing a good, good job. So hopefully he can carry on drilling, get another 15 acres in. Back on the roller. Gonna try and get this gateway. Roll the roll the roll the roll, so hopefully it's ready to concrete tomorrow. Rob's taking over and we've got a rainbow. Proper one now. Got this in the weeds. Should we dig it out and get it running? It's a Subaru four-wheel drive underneath. Which is making room because they're gonna be putting a new fence up around the garden to keep the dog in, James in. I'm going to quickly do the birthday bumper before the Bateman goes out and gets wet, rinsing out, because we're going to we'll hopefully spray some over SAR tomorrow. Anyway, John Holt is 60, Paul McLeod's on there, Tracy Atkins is 40, Rowan Morris, Abby Taylor's 19. There's an anonymous, so I don't know who that was, but they're putting it wrong. Alfie Samuels is 19, Claire Rhodes is on there as well, and I've put Ollie Bloggs 3 because technically this is the last day of year three of making the videos. So by the date, this is the date I think I started. I've basically done three lots of 365 days today. So tomorrow will be day one of year four. So I'm not just sure which day's the birthday, whether it's today or tomorrow, but either way, three lots of 365 days. So thanks to everyone that's watching. Some people have only been here for a short time. Some people have been here for a long time. I mean, I don't know, maybe that could be today's quiz question. How many years have you, sorry, how many months do you think you've watched? Have you watched 36 months? Have you only watched two months? Have you watched 12 months? Let me know in the comments. It'd be, in comments. It'd be interesting to see how long people have been watching for. Andrew's back now. He's going to tuck the drill up in the shed for the next time. It's dry enough to go and drill some beans. We're running out of dry ground to go at. He had to abandon the first field. That's a nice new hat you've got there, Andrew. Are they available online? I think so. Yeah, we're just going to rinse the sprayer out now. This is one of the chains off the low loader and it got caught in the quick hitch of the digger, like the, the, sort of the knuckle for the boom, and it chopped it off. So the hook was missing and you can't really join a chain. And we've now lost the other bit of chain with the hook on. Anyway, I got that, I think it was about 15 quid. So that is the same spec as the one at the other end. So I'm just gonna knock this pin out, put it on there, and then that's now complete again and can be used on the low loader again. There we go. It's a slightly different shape, but according to the spec online, it's the same strength. Other day's quiz question, forgot to tell you the answer. I get it to 1,815 horsepower, I think it was in the shed. Uh, that doesn't include the lawnmower or the buggy. Maybe if you added them on, you'd be touching nearly 2,000 horsepower. But yeah, did anyone get any closer to it than I did? I don't know. I just went off the badge as well. So like, the 724, I called it 240 horsepower. I went off the crank size, not the PTO horsepower. So like the Zerion, we know it doesn't quite put 380 horsepower out of the PTO, but it must definitely be doing that at the engine, if not a little bit more after the damn night the other week. That's what we found out anyway. Don't know that you noticed, but when Andrew got stuck today, we didn't pull him out with a chain. We used to years ago pull stuff out with chains, but they're just too dangerous for pulling tractors. So now we always use a strap. So. A lot of people as well, if they are using a chain, they'll put a tire between it. So it takes the shock loading out and it's like a bit of a shock absorber. But you can also get these kinetic ropes that you can kind of like fly off with the tractor and then it just like, it's like a big spring. I don't know if you ever watched Mike Mitchell. He, he's got one of these kinetic ropes that they're made in um, Australia. So is it some, it's got, got a name, something like a snake, like a viper rope, I think it's called. But check them out on YouTube because they're pretty clever. I could do one really for 
the odd time when we really do get stuck, but generally 936 or the Zerion will get anything out, to be honest. No workshop tidying has been done today because we have been so busy um, with field work and trying to sort out that driveway so that we can get that concrete laid tomorrow. Anyway, that is all for the last day of year three. So thanks to everyone that's watching. Thanks to everyone that's subscribing. And thanks to everyone that's quick like. I really do appreciate you watching the videos because it makes it worthwhile actually making them each day if people are going to watch them. So thanks again, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow for day one of year four, which sounds really weird, but it is only day one. <laughs> see you later.